Welcome everybody, episode 156 and two-thirds of the Games and Graphs podcast. I'm Steve and I'm joined as always by GQ Man of the Year, yeah. Finn Steele. Hello. Finn, how are you doing? You I'm right? doing well, thank you. I'm doing good. I'm alright, I'm tired, but I'm good. How are you? Also tired, but also good. Also That's good. right. I've got my yeah, brown here, so we're all good. Keep me awake. Brown. Yeah, good mug. Thank you, it's the, nice, isn't it? I like this one. Yeah. Not as good as the Games and Graphs one, but... Good. No, no, I was thinking at the uh, Games and Graps mug earlier, repping nice. the brand, obviously. But <laughs> I don't, I can't, I can't, if I drink brown at this time of night, then uh, I'm, I'll be awake till about four in the morning. So, <laughs> no that's, good, that's, no good. For that's me. normal bedtime for me anyway, so I'm all good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Um, you'll notice that we are without our host and the main man. I knew someone was missing. That we forgot. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Damn, Sorry, yeah. We, we haven't we haven't forgot him, and we haven't sacked <laughs> him or anything like that. Not yet, nah. anyway. Um, <laughs> he's feeling a little bit under the weather. He's not very well. It's been a busy couple of weeks. Oh my god, he's been busy. That man has been busy. So it's been a while since I've been on the podcast as well because I was doing different things and and whatnot. So. God, in that time, what's what's Sonny done? So he's, he's done the commentary at Wrestling Hinkley, which yeah, we yeah. did talk about, I think, on the last podcast. Um, yeah. And then he had this little event in between where he got married or something. Yeah, his little thing. Oh, yeah, yeah just little... Big round of applause to Sonny. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations again to uh, Sonny and Kaylee. It was a fantastic day. <laughs> a long time coming. Yeah, oh, a very long delayed, time coming. Thanks to COVID. But uh, yeah, now, it, finally... They got hitched. Congrats. They did. They did. It was great. It was a great day. Great occasion. Fantastic party afterwards. And uh, yeah, I think they're both just absolutely over the moon to finally get married. It's like you say, they were yes. supposed to get married last year. COVID wrecked all of that. Thank you very much, Mr. COVID. Or yes. Mrs. COVID. We're inclusive. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he's got married. Um and he was commentating again last weekend in Telford. Wow, um, busy boy. Yeah, and you know, the clocks have changed. It's pitch black outside. The weather's gotten really cold and people have got colds and flus and God knows what else. Yeah. And Sonny's caught it. And all the stress of supporting Manchester United currently has obviously affected affected him as well. So, um, <laughs> sports. yeah, sports, sports. Uh, are you Ollie in or Ollie out, Finn? I've, I'm no but. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it don't worry about it uh, so, so yeah Sonny's been a busy boy I've been a busy boy so has Finn Finn's been uh, working away at the uh, at the local co-op uh, any any armed robberies recently? Um, no he did catch um, a shoplifter um, we had a security guy in uh, someone's nice. lady he didn't, all, he didn't all the time digging stuff she had uh, loaded her bag up full of expensive steak and tried to leave uh, it's always steaks, so I don't know why. But uh, the guy stopped him, brought her back in, uh, called the police, and she got carried away in the police car. So, yeah. Got wow. you, bitch. Yeah, steak. <laughs> I've, I've heard that steak is one that it gets stolen a lot. It's one of those that, um, when the self-checkout things first came in a few years ago, yeah. there, was, there was a thing that said that they were the they were the thing that was stolen the most at self-checkout. Because they yeah, expensive, it, aren't they, I guess? Expensive, yeah. I think they can sell them on to... Whoever, I don't know who's buying secondhand steak, but, you know. Well, <laughs> I, I certainly, and I guess Sonny would agree with me if he was here as well, I've certainly been in a pub before where someone has come round with a bag trying to sell meat. Really? Uh, okay. that is a, oh, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> ah. Definitely, definitely. So that, that really? does happen. <laughs> yeah. It's always meat and the other one's baby milk. It's also baby very expensive. Milk. Yeah. Yeah, it's not cheap. I know that. Yeah, I, I bet. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not cheap. Um, talking of things that aren't cheap, I saw something the other day, and I don't know whether it's the place where you work or you know not not in Hinkley necessarily. But am I right in saying that a tube of Pringles is now over three quid? Ooh, um, it wouldn't surprise me. I haven't. I don't remember the price off the top of my head. <laughs> no, I but, mean uh, I, I wouldn't expect you. I know they were on offer just... recently, but. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. No, the car. Three quid. Yeah, it's a bit much. A bit I mean, much. I know there's a shortage of crisps, but bloody hell. No, oh, dude, we have like no crisps at work. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. This one's some Doritos. There's like no walkers at all. The and, and, packs. 
Wow. Okay. And is it's that a... because Walkers are what struggling with drivers or what? Or... I, I guess so. It's weird. Yeah. I think empty oh, shelves. I, I don't know. Last Christmas. No... Last Christmas we couldn't spend time together. This Christmas is not going to be any food for anyone. Nothing yeah, kind of kind of crisps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next next Christmas. Yeah, you know, 2022, there'll be no booze or something. <laughs> uh, which won't bother me, but anyway. It's been a yeah. quick talk with games and craps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, cool, okay. So, look, it's just the two of us. Uh, Sonny usually leads us into everything. Um, there's some big things coming up in the world of gaming, especially releases and stuff like that. So we're going to do games of the month when Sonny returns next week. Uh, and we'll have a little bit of wrestling chat. There was some rather big news last week that we'll uh, we'll we'll come on to. So don't expect an hour and a half, two hour podcast today, guys. Uh, like condensed, girls. condensed podcast tonight. Yeah, condensed, condensed. Like I yeah. say, it's two thirds. So you know, expect exactly. a, th- a third off. A bit like the Pringles <laughs> at the co-op. Um, <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> but we can we'll make start, it if we try. As we always do. Just the two Sorry, of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two oh, of us. Okay. Just the two of you us. You <laughs> good, uh, good reference. Um, Thanks. <laughs> so, Finn, what hello. Have you been playing? What indeed? I forgot to bring up the thing. Hold on, where is it? Okay. Da, 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 da. There it is. Uh, what indeed? Um, well, recently, I've been playing. Most recently, I've been playing uh, Metroid Dread on the Switch, okay. which is excellent. Mm-hmm. I also played through uh, Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion. It's got last two games in the series, uh, and yeah, all really, really good. Dread is a big step up from the last two games. Uh, excellent, just just really really good, and kind of got some like horror elements to it as well. Like you have these robots who are trying to kill you, trying to hunt down and kill you, and it's very stressful trying to escape them sometimes, especially mm. when you get when you get to, like right next to you. Because it's a bit like an alien, you know, like when the alien's right in your face, in uh, yeah. her face. It's like a lot of moments like that, where it's just, like right in front of you, you just got to try and hide and stay out of the way. It's cool. very cool. And just yeah, the, the the movement in that game is so good. Just, mm. It feels super natural to get, you know, jumping around, jumping off walls, flying around. It all feels super natural and yeah, really cool. Yeah, got a lot of hours into that, have you? Um, yeah, I'm getting through it. It's not a super long game. No, um, but if you want to like 100 percent it, which I kind of do, um, of it'll take a little bit. So that's yeah. that. Also jumps on briefly Far Cry Six, which we got sent. Uh, by Ubisoft, thank you, Ubisoft. Yes, yep. And uh, yeah, it's Far Cry. It's a big open world <laughs> Ubisoft game yeah. with guns. It's yeah. uh, Assassin's Creed guns. Uh, <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, it's very cool. Very you know standard open world. I'm enjoying it. I'll probably play through it. The the uh, trophy list is pretty straightforward and easy. So mm. I'll hopefully try and plan it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. If you played Far Cry three or four or five, you know what to expect. It's that, but again, <laughs> but prettier with the new uh, bad guy. Yes, definitely, definitely. Which isn't a bad thing. Um, what else? Also, platinumed um, Death Stranding director's cut. Wow. I have a PS5. I bought the five pound upgrade. Uh, thankfully, most of the trophies unlock straight away if you import a oh, save okay. on PS4. Uh, the only ones that don't unlock are the ones for uh, crafting every item and creating all. Like the little uh, buildings you can make, uh, because they yeah they include like the new things, uh, just they're added in, in the director's cut. So basically, you have to go around do do all the new stuff, which I wanted to do anyway. Obviously, uh, unlock yeah. all the new items you can make, and uh, yeah, it's very cool. There's new um, some of the new missions are like references to Metal Gear Solid, very oh, stealth okay. heavy, a very uh, a lot of references to Metal Gear Solid, which is very cool. Yeah, which which yeah, I guess you ex- you expect, don't you? All yeah, good old, good old Hideo. Hideo. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Sounds really cool. Recommend spending five pound on that if you have a PS Five. Well, it's a platinum, so I think you deserve a round of applause for that. It's bit. true. I think I do deserve a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> platinum trophy for me. Oh wow! Well done. <laughs> and speaking of Psychonauts Two, I finished that. Hundred percent platinum trophy. There it is again. Have the one for me. Yeah. Well done, well done, well done. <laughs> uh, again, excellent game. Excellent follow up to the original. Uh, very funny and just a good, entertaining game. I'd recommend that. It's on Game Pass for free. So why the hell not? Why not? Absolutely. 
And speaking of Game Pass, Forza Horizon 5? Yeah, <laughs> Forza Horizon That's 5, right. the new one. Uh, which again, it's excellent. Of course it is. Uh, Forza Horizon 4, but prettier. And with a new map, basically. Which isn't a bad thing, because 4 was excellent. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I can't wait to jump back into it, to be honest. I've got to sit on my PC. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I first tried to play it. I tried to play it after like midnight on the day when it first came out. Because well, I was awake. I had it pre-installed, but it is a go. Uh, clicks play, import up the first screen. You know what this says, like, uh, don't drive like this in real life, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, if you have the epilepsy, don't play this. I'm um, like, you can't tell me what to do. Yeah. And they just, <laughs> and they just crashed the desktop and then nothing didn't work. I was like, okay, okay, I guess I won't play now then. Um, yeah, yeah. I saw, it, some, a few uh, times. Uh, I saw a, a, a crazy stat around, you know, how many players it had already had in wow. the first like couple of days. It was like 800,000 or something. Wow, that was crazy. Um, it, it, I think Sunny retweeted it. It's um, yeah, crazy numbers, crazy, crazy numbers. So probably why it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, I tried to launch it a few times. Didn't work. So I was like, okay, I give up. Tried it the next day, expecting the same thing to happen, and no, it worked, it worked perfectly fine. Um, played about with the graphic settings, which you always do on PC games. It always takes me bloody hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I decided to run it at thirty FPS, at sixty. Just so I can turn the graphics up a bit, make it look a bit prettier. Yeah, I've done the same. Um, um, yeah, because I've got I've got the option as well, obviously on the on the Xbox, and um, I went I went for the thirty FPS, but the prettier graphics. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I I mean I might give it a try with the other the other mode. I can't remember what is it performance and something performance, uh, performance mode and, and quality. Quality. I think different games like have that, different yeah. names for me. Yeah. Yeah, but basically, yeah. basically so, thirty FPS and prettier and high resolution, or sixty FPS but lower resolution and slightly yeah downgraded. Yeah. But either way, it, look, it looks amazing oh. and plays amazing. It it does, it really does. Um, so yeah, I mean, any any uh, any more gaming? Um, I think that's about it. It's been a lot. It's been a long time since the last time the last time we recorded <laughs> this. There's been a lot of games in between. Mm, um, yeah, but I think that's about it, really. How about yourself? Mm. So I've not been able to do much gaming this week because I've been doing that really boring adult task of doing DIY. So I've not really done a lot of gaming this week, but since the last time I was on the pod, uh, I've done more Far Cry 6. I think nice. it's uh, it's fantastic. I really, really enjoy it. Um, I think Far Cry 3 was the last one I played and I didn't enjoy it as much, but this this is this one's this cool. I, I really like this one. Um, yeah, maybe. I can't remember. God, I can't remember. It was so long ago. But I'm really enjoying Far Cry 6 and uh, I cool. want to get it. Well, I need to get it finished because of all the great games that are coming out this month, you know. Oh, and and yeah. uh, <laughs> so you know, I'm just going to end up with a huge, huge backlog of games. Um, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't know anything about <laughs> back, backlog of games or so. No, I, I play all my games, obviously. Yeah, you play them all. You know, you finished all of those games. Yeah, well, in fact, yeah. you, you probably have, but I don't know. No, I haven't. I've been close. So I played that, and yeah, I have also, although not as much as I would like to, or as much as I would dare to, because once I start playing Forza, I can be on it for hours. Um, so I Same. bought the expansion bundle, or what's it, or other, and uh, so I, I got the game last Friday. Uh, um, yeah. um, so... Yeah, it was it was it was thirty five quid for this bundle. I had forty quid on my Xbox account, so I thought, you know what, just go for it. Nice. You know, the game is free effectively, so you know I paid thirty five pound for a game that is well worth whatever money they want to charge because <laughs> it's just super. I've only played an hour, an hour and a half, and it's just it's just mesmerising. I think the, the 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 graphics are unbelievable. The setting is amazing. I mean, Mexico is somewhere I've been fortunate enough to go and it's a place that I really like and um you know just like driving down the beach and just things like that and playing around with the photo mode I mean you don't I I feel like with Forza you don't necessarily even have to do the races you just drive around (laughs) just drive around yeah just you know take it all in but the races are cool as well the cars are amazing they look amazing they 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 have a great feel to them when you're driving them around as well so it's it's all round an excellent game, and it's like you say, it's Forza in a different place, Forza Four in a different place, prettier graphics, um, and 
just massively upgraded and it just yeah it's brilliant i can't wait to plow a few more hours into it yeah same here. it's just just superb superb game and and i i posted posted a pic on twitter uh are you using the photo mode and drove a car down the beach and threw some waves so the water sprayed up and took a photo and you know when you nice. zoom in on the fo- on the photo itself bear in mind it's been compressed by the time it's uploaded onto twitter and everything <laughs> yeah you know you can see like the individual beads of water and stuff. it's just wow incredible and again i'm playing on a series s you know it just shows how <laughs> yeah. how good that machine is so Amazing. yeah they're, they're the two main games i've been playing uh Dipped into 2K22, NBA 2K22, um, nice. a couple of times, which superb sports game. Um, in terms of jumping ahead a bit in terms of gaming news, there, there was a rumor during the rounds the other day that 2K are looking to buy the FIFA um, franchise, Ooh. I guess is the word, uh, because I think EA are coming away from it or, or, or something or other, or it's, or it's wow. up for, for tender or whatever. So, um, I mean, if, if 2K can get hold of FIFA, that would be that would be incredible. Um, That'd be awesome, yeah. For, for the football fans, of course. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's. I mean, in terms of what I've been playing, that's that's pretty much it. I've I've just not had chance to do a hell of a lot. I still haven't checked out the free update on Animal Crossing, which I hear is is excellent. Oh yeah. So I haven't checked that Very out cute. yet. Yeah, I've seen a few um, screenshots and and different things and videos and. My sister-in-law has been messaging me and saying, oh, God, I'm, I'm back in love with the game again. So I think it, she got to a point like most people do with it where she was like, I don't know what else to do now. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm just going on every day, digging up my fossils, getting my money, <laughs> digging up my gold, uh, selling stuff, seeing what's in the shop, turn it off. So it's brought people back into the into the game, I feel, from, yeah. from what I can uh, see and not things I've read. So, but I've not yeah. tried it yet. That's fair. I'm afraid to turn it back on because I'll just be on it <laughs> constantly. I'm I'm the same. Uh, I mean, it's bad. It's, it's bad enough with Football Manager. I mean, I was I was playing I, I was playing that actually. I was playing that about ten minutes before we uh, we started recording. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um and and yeah, I am I'm the same. I'm I'm afraid to turn on Animal Crossing because that'll be it. I'll be back to falling asleep at two a.m. again and. <laughs> And then wondering why I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's just so addictive. <laughs> no, it's cool. But no, that's that's um pretty much pretty much it for me, gaming wise. Um, cool. Is oh, yeah, there much, much gaming news, or or have uh, you got something else? Not a huge amount. I was going to say I've also played uh, more Beat Saber. Um, oh yeah. I did an online mode on the PS4 version. Finally, I don't know how long it's been like the play banana for ages. Um, I switched on my PS4 to download the free VR games they added for this month. Okay. Um, while they downloaded it, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll give Beat Saber a try. I haven't played that in a while. And I saw the online mode. I was like, oh, that's awesome. And I just, I just love online uh, VR on, 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 in online because you can see other players like move in real time. Like you can wave at people and they wave back. It's like, it's a whole, it's like next level of interaction because you can actually see them actual real life movements in real time. It, yeah. It's, it's uh, VR's super cool, isn't it? It's um, so cool. Yeah. It, it, is it a, really is. Yeah, so I was playing on. I tried to jump straight on an expert mode, so this would be fine. I just lost immediately. It's like, okay, nope. <laughs> Lock it down a bit. <laughs> and I was going through the song packs, and there's one on there which was a bunch, which a bunch of really random, lit, uh, like classic songs, I guess you can call them. I got Lady Gaga on there, got Maroon 5, I think Pussycat Dolls on there. And one of them, in amongst all that, was uh, Rolling by Limp Biscuit. <laughs> and I was like, Sold. That's the one. <laughs> Oops. That's I'm the one. <laughs> of course, yeah. To, Limp to Biscuit. There was playing. <laughs> playing uh, Limp Biscuit. Waving my arms about like a lunatic. Talking of uh, <laughs> going going off topic as we normally do on this podcast. <laughs> there's a new Limp Biscuit album out. Oh really? I don't know if God. you've uh, um, check it out. It is Limp Biscuit. I mean, it's obviously <laughs> it's not it's not them in their heyday. No, but the song, <laughs> the, the song "Dad Vibes" is just brilliant because obviously you've seen how Fred Durst looks these days. You know, he's, yeah. he's gone proper. You know, looks like a dad. Dad know, mode, with the, yeah. With the gray, gray handlebar moustache and the gray hair. Nice. And there's yeah, there's a song called "Dad Vibes." Brilliant, love it. Awesome. <laughs> I'll uh, check it out. 
They're a band, actually, I'd love to. But me and Sonny were having this discussion. Is there any bands that we haven't seen live that we want to? And I haven't seen them, Biscuit. And although they're probably not as good as they were 20, or definitely not as good as they were 20 years ago, <laughs> I'd definitely go. You've got to have them, yeah. You've got to. Yeah. You'd have to. Yeah. <laughs> Biscuit. You know. I don't... Keep balling. Because after, after, once you finish the... Uh... The level it plays a bit of the song and you see like it's like podiums like first place second place and i was just somewhere the song plays in the background i was just there going like more and more and more. <laughs> <laughs> the other guys joined in as well so just like i just like the idea of two people like two or three people like different places on earth across the on planet, the same just, wavelength yeah just there, all god's doing the bowling dance uh, <laughs> brilliant <laughs> i love, love it. it absolutely love it it's so cool no. uh yeah cool. so i think that's about it <laughs> finally for him to play <laughs> No, that's good. That's good. At least we've uh, at least we have had chance to to do some gaming. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. I'm sure I'll get a bit more in over the next week or so. I'll see. It all depends how well this decorating goes. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. let's not talk about that. That's boring. Um, so, <laughs> is there much gaming news knocking about at the moment? Uh, not a huge amount of things. Um, obviously, a lot of things have happened in the last episode, but I'm going yeah, to go yeah. through it all because it's old news at this point. Old news. Old news. Um, so the biggest thing for me anyway uh, is the uh, Elden Ring uh, game beta has been going on. Uh, I didn't join the beta that was going on because I didn't know about it until way later. Right. Uh, but the gameplay looks incredible. It's it's open world Dark Souls. Um, there's a lot of like Breath of the Wild vibes to it, like Souls of the Wild almost. <laughs> it's like big big open world. You get like mini Dark Souls esque dungeons in there. It just it just looks so good. I'm on the yeah. beta now. <laughs> I pre-ordered the uh, collector's edition. I couldn't help myself. Um, When's that out? That is out in j- February, I believe. Oh. I think it's originally going to be out in January, and then it delayed it a month. No. no. Yeah, February. Like most things at the moment, everything just seems to be getting delayed, does it? <laughs> yeah. Everything's coming out in February. I don't know what's so special about February, but then it's going to have a lot of games. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. There is a, <laughs> there's a hell of a lot coming out in February. There's so many. It's crazy. Insane. Yeah, I can't wait for that game. So cool. Um, the other news I saw, which is quite interesting, it's a bit weird. Uh, Konami has delisted Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 over some licensing issues. Oh. Uh, so you can't buy those games currently digitally on PS3 and 360, I guess, or Xbox, or whatever. Yeah. I think it's on Xbox One and other stuff, probably. Um, so yeah, it's, it's probably going to come back at some point. Um, so yeah, there's some, just some weird random licensing issues. Just look through it now to find out what it is. Yeah, I was going to say what what uh, uh, what is it specifically? That's... Oh, I think it's like older clips from like older TV shows or old documentaries uh, that were included in both uh, Metal Gear Solid Two and Three. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, stuff like that. For some reason, that's a whole thing, and you need licensing stuff for it, which is fair enough. That's crazy, isn't it? You need licensing for everything now. It's, uh... <laughs> it's crazy. Hopefully it comes back soon, because they are some of the best games ever made. Like that, mm. I might be here for the PS3. Oh. Uh... Dude, trophies in Metal Gear Solid 2 are ridiculous. This leads to like 10 playthroughs, because you've got to collect all the dog tags yeah. from guards, and each difficulty has different dog tags for each enemy. <laughs> and it's like five <laughs> difficulties. It's like... Insane. I have, to play, I have to play through the whole thing in stealth. You have to do various different, insanely yeah. difficult things. It's like that's a Latin trophy. I will never have. God, I don't have patience <laughs> for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm positive I played Metal Gear Solid 2, but it, it's I, I can't remember a lot of it. If I did, oh, uh, so I'm, sh- I'm, sh- I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. I definitely I remember playing three, but I don't I don't remember much of two for some reason. But that's fair. Well, if yeah. it ever comes back on stores, maybe you can play it on the Xbox, whatever. Mm. Series one X three sixty. Yes. <laughs> X one three sixty seven twenty. <laughs> Xbox One, but it was the third version of the console anyway. Um <laughs> good old good old Xbox. Good old hey. Microsoft, sorry. Um <laughs> cool. Any more? Any more uh, gaming news knocking about? Um nothing super special. We talked about the Animal Crossing thing. Um Bunch of stuff about um, Apex Legends, Call of Duty. No one cares about that. <laughs> <laughs> so Call of Duty's Duty game out. Who'd, who'd have known? <laughs> who'd have thunk it? But yeah, all this, all this stuff I'm doing is about Elden Ring, uh, Destiny Two, Meh. Uh, oh, um, 
we have Tease, um, who are they? Uh, Bioware, Tease, Tease, and the, the next Mass Effect game. They apparently uploaded a, a uh, image to Twitter saying the Mass Effect story will continue. Oh. So that's cool. Ooh. That is cool. That is Very cool. nice. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for all the big news. Yeah. So I guess one that Sonny and I obviously would have picked up on was uh, the, and I believe I have this right, and Sonny will probably correct me next week or he'll explain it better next week. Efootball has been delayed, or the full version of eFootball has been delayed until next spring now. So eFootball ah. is obviously taken over from or is the rebranded name of pro evolution soccer and uh it had a let's, let's say it's had a sticky launch shall we say um, yeah <laughs> it's not now, nothing super great it's free to play the, the there's there's a glorified i think it's only described it the other day as a glorified demo uh, that you can play online games there's a handful of teams uh, there was an update last week for it, and Sonny said that it, it, it plays really well. The passing's improved and various different things, but That's good. it's just not getting a very good press. You know, you see all the screenshots of how terrible the players looks, look yeah. and the graphics. Uh, and then obviously now the full game is being delayed until um, next year, next spring. So, yeah, interesting. Not a good start for, or well, not good for Konami on that one. Yeah, okay. Konami's uh, not doing super well right now. No, no, it's not. It's not. And the only other thing that I saw, which I've, I don't play it. I know you don't play it. Um, their Fortnite have take they've taken out um, Travis Scott as a playable character. Oh really? Given the recent events at the um, festival last week, where uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, some people unfortunately. Yes, so um, yeah, mm. he's been he's been removed from from the game. How popular he was as a playable character? Who knows? I don't know. I don't play. Can't it, imagine. But, um, yes, probably. yeah, it's uh, you can play as Spider Man or some guy. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure there's been Premier League footballers on there as well because because a few really? of them were were streaming on were streaming Fortnite on Twitch and I think they then ended up in the game and uh, oh, it's wow. not for me. Yeah, my, my, my daughter happened to mention Fortnite the other day, like for the first time, and I was like, right, firstly, how do you know about it? And secondly, <laughs> no, no, don't even no, ask. Forbidden. No, don't even ask. It's not happening. Next, next up, we're asking for V Bucks and oh, all God. that stuff and skins. No, and... <laughs> no, no, no. She no, can wait until she can wait until the Paw Patrol games are fiver, and I might buy that. For <laughs> <you>. <laughs> You're not going to buy the new uh, Peppa Pig game that's coming out. Hell no, we don't even, we don't have Peppa Pig on in this house. <laughs> don't blame me. Oh it's god, <laughs> it is awful. Yeah, did you hear about they had to take an episode down in Australia? It was about like saying how spiders aren't scary. They have to be afraid of spiders. But of course, in Australia, spiders are deadly <laughs> and can kill you. So like, you probably should be afraid of spiders. <laughs> oh yeah, man. So that was a thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a funny world. It really is. It really is. But um, yes, yeah. I don't think there's uh, there's there's anything more really from the from the gaming side of things. I mean, uh, one thing or, or one one game that I guess could get a uh, a delay, and this segues us in lovely into our uh, wrestling section. Uh, I imagine that the new WWE game is going to probably. <laughs> <laughs> be delayed do we think again uh, it wouldn't surprise me considering mm. all the people that just got uh, Thanos out of existence or Vince McMahon yeah. out of his existence oh god yikes at, at, this, at this point you know do we do we think that 2k are probably going to go do you know what forget it <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're going to release like five wrestlers hey, you Roman Reigns John Cena uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember else. I don't know. It's going to be like the old <laughs> WWF games where you basically had like ten, you know, like <laughs> Savage Hogan Warrior, uh, <laughs> yeah, Bret Hart, <laughs> British Bulldog. Oh god. Uh, yeah, it's got a list here of people that got released in this latest batch of people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so got... let, let's uh, let, let's talk through that. And let's have a let's have a discussion about that then. Uh, yeah, it's probably the biggest name. One of there's a lot of big names, but probably the biggest. Is Keith Lee? Um, I don't understand how you look at Keith Lee and all his matches and all the incredible stuff he's done in NXT and think, nah, 
give him some stupid middle name, and then, you know what, screw it, just get rid of him, we don't need him. Like, the dude's a megastar in the making, I don't know Absolutely. how... Uh, Absolutely, I mean, I believe it's, like, mental. the last two Survivor series he's had, He's he was excellent. He had, he had yeah. a, I'm pretty sure he had a match with Roman Reigns, didn't he? Like, the last year or the year before. Yeah, I think or, he had, like, a standoff. Something. Yeah, I think yeah, like, there was a standoff the or something. Match. Yeah, they did, like, a yeah. Uh, and then, obviously, the Royal Rumble that year. So the the 2020 Royal Rumble, when he came out, and there was the huge pop, and him and Brock, you know, faced off, and you know, Brock really sold sold it really well. And yeah, you, know, you, you think this guy's going to get over? You know, this this guy is is money, and you know, he became a a champion NXT. Uh, didn't he? He had the. Um, yeah, the NXT title and the North American Championship at the same time, didn't he? He uh, did, yeah. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Goes Maybe up to the main problem. roster uh, and certain things happen. I know he ended up off with COVID, as I think, as well, or Mia Yim had yeah, COVID. He was obviously uh, I think his partner. Some, uh, yeah, I think that's a heart problem. Heart so problem, as well. problem at some point, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, he, he stuck with them all the way through that. Now, the, the Bearcat, thing um was uh, allegedly his idea so you know fair play it was okay. homage to uh, an old school um wrestler who's um that he obviously looked up to so you know not a problem with that so they've repackaged him they've done all this and then they release him yeah it's so bizarre. And I, I just and the thing to remember as well and i think the thing that boils people's piss the most is the fact that this has come off the back Literally that afternoon, better than expected profits, and then oh, yeah. they release seventeen. Was it seventeen people? Uh, uh, 17, 17 talent, it, something like that. Where and and they're citing budget cuts. Seventeen, yeah, it's too crazy, isn't it? It's always their excuse. Budget cuts. It's like it's like a promo CM Punk um, cut, like I keep seeing doing around to Twitter at the minute, like saying. Again, uh, saying to uh, John Laurinaitis, uh saying, like, take the piss, like, how like, did you say, you know, to this guy face to face that he's been let go? Would you call him over the phone and say, oh, sorry, kid, budget cuts? Yeah. yeah. There's always an excuse and it's always, you know, bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So I, yeah. I get it. So do you re- read, uh, read through the list there, Finn. Give us, uh, give us all the names. Uh, yeah, so another big loss, which I did nothing with. Yeah, Kevin Gross, uh, put him in a gimp mask, took away all his cool stuff from NXT, took away Scarlet, took away his cool entrance, put him in a stupid mask, and yeah, they couldn't get over what are the expects, so they've been them. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Um, Ember Moon, another one who could have been a big star, very talented lady, and... She was doing all right, then she got injured and went away for a bit, and then they just did nothing with it when she came back. Yeah, went to NXT. Had a good one on NXT with uh, Sasha Blackheart, and then yeah, Sasha got called up with Tegan Knox randomly, and then yeah, um, but she kind of disappeared, which is a shame. Um, Eva Marie, why bring her back if it's going to sack her off straight away? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because that 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 pro whatever you think of Eva Marie, that that program with. Do drop was was good, you know. Yeah. It was it was fine. It, it got her over. She's seemingly quite popular. You, you're absolutely right. I mean, just going back back to Carrie and Cross. I mean, the first two names that you said, Keith Lee and Carrie and Cross. That that should be the future of your business. Yeah, they're literally future WrestleMania main eventers. That's what they're looking for. NXT two point no. Like, but you have two right there. What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> I, d- I mean, obviously, we know that Keith Lee came from the Indies. We we saw him live, didn't we? In, yeah, in, uh, we did. in, Com- in Coventry, I high fived yeah. him. That was awesome. Nice. <laughs> um, his hands are fucking massive. Yeah. <laughs> Broke your wrist. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 walked past, he walked through the crowd, didn't he? He walked past me. I thought, I'm going to high five this guy. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was the first time I ever saw him. And then when uh, when he was up in NXT, I was I was uh, I was delighted. But yeah, you just look at them two and you think that is the pair of them just money. They should have been, and I, and I don't get it. Two big beefy guys on Raw it was Vincent Man's wet dream, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Why Lord couldn't so. you do anything with it? You big and, and the, men and, slapping meat, as Biggie would say. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but 
Yeah, the carrying cross one. What what an absolute mess. What an absolute yeah. mess. Um like you say, just so dominant, brilliant champ, brilliant entrance look. Him and Scarlet were great. Yeah, and then they, they bring him up in a in a gimp mask. <laughs> <laughs> just don't just do not uh do not get it at all. And again with Eva Marie, you know, she she's barely been what back what three months? Yeah. Eva Marie um, gets a bad rap. And it's true that she can't really wrestle, but that's kind of the point <laughs> of her whole game when she came back. Yeah, it is. It is. You're right. It is kind of the point. It's it's that it's like there. Be, it's almost there to boil piss, isn't it? It's yeah. <laughs> like some like, like just don't need you know, just don't need to wrestle. You're there for to be a character. If you can't, you know, she's not there to wrestle. She's there to be a character, and you know, mm. put, put other people over. Yeah, yeah, and Ember Moon. That's a real shame. She's very talented. She she's not yeah. gonna, she's not going to be out of. I, I'm guessing she's got a ninety day. I think once that ninety days up, she will she'll be snapped up somewhere. Yeah, definitely. she'll be fine. Yeah, uh, and fine. so yeah, and so well, uh, Mia Yim who got released as well. Who do go to bloody retribution for <laughs> for some reason, and then that was the whole thing, God. and then got released. Didn't, didn't do anything else with her on the main roster. That's kind of. I think you got uh, dropped to SmackDown and then they just did nothing with her. And, no. just, and now she's gone. Shame. Yeah, real Should shame. Talented, um, but real life partner of Keith Lee. So has that got something to do with it? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. More than likely. <laughs> uh, someone I'm not uh, sad to see go, uh, Nia Jax. Uh, sort of been released a long time ago. <laughs> injured, injured, has injured a lot of uh, female superstars. Yeah, and uh, just isn't very good, and I don't like her. No, I I, she she's she's had a lot of criticism, and yeah, she's she's injured a lot of people. Um, I think the sad thing about the the Nia Jax thing was the the statement that she released where she basically said, "Look, I had I had time off because of my mental health. I was due to come back on the fifteenth uh, of November episode of Raw." I think she said, or all right. Or, or maybe the the nineteenth of November episode of Smart. I can't remember what. I think she was on Raw, wasn't she? Yeah, I think so. So that was all planned, and then she asked for an extended period of absence due to mental health, and they never got back to her about it. Well, I guess you got it. And the first contact she got was, "We're letting you go." All right, harsh. Um, and it just, it's just another. For me, it's another nail in the in the coffin for WWE. It, it's, mm. you know, what a way to treat people. Yeah, okay, she she may have had some backstage heat for for various things, and there was the altercation with with Charlotte a few weeks ago. But then I don't mm-hmm. think Charlotte's being uh, is overly popular at the minute either. So, yeah, that, it's um, when you read Nia Jax's statement, actually, it's uh, it feels a lot more shitty than it. It, it actually is because, yeah. like you say, maybe maybe it's one way it should have been. Do you know what you're injuring people? <laughs> we need to we need to do something here. Yeah, like they could have just taken it back to the performance center, help her, you know, yeah. train yeah. her up a bit yeah. better. But hey, it's what it is. It's not a very good look for WRE. You know, if she has been suffering with the mental it's health, as I didn't realize was a thing. Um, mm. Yeah, harsh. Yeah. Very, very. Go. I agree. I agree. Here we go. Um, also got Harry Smith, who they just brought back. Had him doing dark matches. Um, apparently been doing re- really well, been getting over the crowd, and they booed him. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to be on TV. And he's gone. And he's gone. Cheers, Harry. Again, <laughs> I mean, f- from our our live, you know, pre-show before the pre-show, with you know his his the, the little the great community that we've got. His name gets mentioned all the time, you know, especially mm-hmm. when. Yeah, when when Walter was was champ and was saying who's going to take the belt off him, and everyone was saying Harry Smith, Harry Smith. That was awesome. Ah, and then and then this happens, and again, it's a it's another case, a bit like Eva Marie. Why why bring them in to then just release them a few months later? Yeah, so strange. It doesn't it doesn't make sense? It it just does not make sense. Speaking of Walter, actually, um, to change the subject a little bit. Uh, apparently, Cesaro and Walter have been uh, doing house shows together. Which is yes. which I want to see, please. Yeah, so <laughs> I, want to see that map. I saw that as well. Yeah, they've been they've been on the card for the for the UK because they've been touring in the UK WWE. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. Recent, uh, over this last couple of weeks, they were in they were in Birmingham last Friday. Um, if I had had a ticket, I probably wouldn't have gone <laughs> after the news of last Thursday. But that's no. beside the point. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I did see something on Twitter that I think they'd had they've had three matches on this tour, and I think BT Sport are going to release the uh, match that they put on in Liverpool. Ooh, that'd be cool. And from the clips I've seen, it looks as brutal as you want it to be. So, yeah. awesome. you know, for as much as uh, I'm quite anti-WWE at the moment, it's a shame because there are some, there's still some great, great talent there that can put great matches on. So, yeah, they've been talking of ones to bring, yeah, they've been talking of ones that can bring water to uh, the States. Uh, whether it'll happen or not, I don't know. Yeah. But it would be cool to see him do, just to do something. It would, it would, yeah. I mean, surely he goes straight to the main roster, doesn't he? You would hope so. Yeah, yeah. Maybe teams up again with Imperium. Yeah, or he gets released. Who knows? Yeah, um, <laughs> <WWE probably>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Lindsay Dorado and Grand Metal League. I think this has been coming for a while. Yeah, they've they've been requesting their release, and that's that's absolutely yeah. fine. You know. Yeah, that, they'll be that, fine, that's... as you said, with other guys. Yeah, yeah, they'll do well. Yeah, of course they will. Yeah. Uh, and we've got to mention new guys. Uh, so we've got G. Rama, uh, Katrina, Katrina Cortez, Trey Baxter, Zayda Romia, and Jesse Gamia. They were in NXT 2.0 for a little while. Yeah. yeah. About five minutes. Um, that's a shame that they, they never got a chance to uh, show no. what they can do. No. No. It's, it, it, that is a shame. That is a shame. Uh, another shocking one out of nowhere. She just came up to the main roster uh, as part of Hit Row. Uh, B. Fab. Um, so strange. Just brought her back. I just yeah. brought her up to SmackDown. But the cool new stable. And one of those people from this stable just gone now. For no reason. Out of nowhere. Believe it or not, this is the one that annoys me the most. Yeah. And it's not because I'm a huge Hit Row fan or a huge B, B Fab fan or anything mm-hmm. like that. But So the releases happened last Thursday, 4th of November. The week before that, she signed a new contract. Yeah, I saw that. The week before. Now, look, I don't run a wrestling company. Never have and never, probably never will. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but never will. But if you sign someone to a contract, and it was the same with when Chelsea Green got released, and you know, you could say the same about Eve Marie, you know, they've, they've probably yeah. given her a two, three year contract, then three months later, let her go. But people, Wrestlers get released because they come to the end of the contract and it's like, right, you've, you've outgrown us or actually you want to go and do something different. You want to go and try elsewhere. You know, we've, we've seen it over the last few months with Adam Cole and uh, the American Dragon, and <laughs> people like that. So I understand that. I understand when people just come to the end of their contract and are like, you know, what? I want to try something different. You know, and, and nine times out of ten, the door is still open for those people. I expect one day Daniel Bryan will be back in WWE. But yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um but who who decides one week we're going to give someone a new contract then the following week that they're on the that they're they're good to get rid of. Yeah. Like what why it it still feels like they've just some somewhere within WWE somewhere there is still this scattergun approach to sign that person, sign that person, sign that person. And that's how we've ended up with all these people being released over the last, whatever it is, 12 months, probably yeah. less than that. But because they were just signing everyone that they could and, and you know, stockpiling uh, talent. But it feels like it's still happening. You know, yeah. oh, let's, br- let's bring Eva Marie back. You know, we'll do this with her. We'll do this. We'll give her a two-year contract, and then three months later, let her go. But the B Fab one, I mean that, and I, and I think the biggest thing for me is, <clears throat> I guess if you're if you're in the in the wrestling industry, this this is the sort of thing that you come to expect that you may get released, or you might go weeks without being on TV or, or having a match. Yeah, but can you imagine the week before you're you're you know. You've just signed a contract extension or whatever it is with WWE. You're probably thinking, wow, that's me sorted for the next two to three years. And then a week later, you're told, sorry. 
<laughs> we've got to let you go for budget cuts, even though we're going to announce that we've made record profits again. I, yeah, I just, crazy. I, I, I just think it's, um, it just smacks of a really, really badly run company, and uh, ethically, it's it's shocking. There's there's literally there's no there's no empathy, there's no emotional intelligence, there's nothing. It's uh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, shit, isn't it? Yeah, it's so bizarre. I noticed, you know, Nisa only had the two matches on NXT and she's yeah. pretty green. But even so, she's part of this big new faction you just brought up mm. that you want to push. And then you just, like, took off one of their legs. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exa- exactly. <laughs> well, exactly. It's so, so bizarre. And they made no reference to it on SmackDown at all. They took out her part from her theme music, which is so bizarre. Yeah. It's uh, dumb. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, how typical. I mean, it's like the the uh, the bit at the start of um, of like Raw and SmackDown, the pay per views. You know, the then is it then now forever or whatever it is. Oh yeah, they've taken out the Ric Flair uh, part, Ooh. haven't they? Yeah, they've yeah. Taken, taken out the woo. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. they did the same with because that bit. Um, as soon as Jericho joined AEW, they took his part out as well. Oh yeah. There was, a, there was a clip of him doing a. Doing the walls of Jericho, and they, they took that out. <laughs> yeah, same thing with the fiend as well. They had like a fiend part of it, which is gone now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, well. I don't know. Um, as for the rest of the releases, uh, Only Lorcan, underrated guy. It's nice been in NXT for a long time. Very cool. Cool guy, nice guy. Um, that's another one they probably saw coming. To be fair. Um, yeah, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. It's like team partner whose name is struggling. <laughs> uh, what the hell's his name? Danny Birch. Danny Birch. Yeah, it's Danny Birch got released a little while ago. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Shame. Um, uh, Frankie Monet, who, again, pre built female superstar, <sighs> ready to go. And just, yeah. It just, it just feels like there's this. Uh, I said it to Sonny last week. There's someone at WWE, probably Vince. As an absolute yeah. hard on for wanting future WrestleManias to be headlined by their talent. Yeah, that's probably. They, and and you look at the you know Frankie Monet or you know Ty, Ty Valkyrie as she was was in Impact, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so and and Keith leaves like we mentioned earlier, independent and all of that. So they they want that glory of. These are our guys that are selling out wrestle and headlining WrestleMania. You know they, they can't, they couldn't possibly have someone that learnt their trade in a in a bingo hall. It, yeah. it's, and and that's exactly what it is. And this is why um, Bron Breaker is is getting the push that he is because it's like he's our guy. Yeah, Bron Breaker. Breaker. Um, <laughs> we uh, we taught him to wrestle. We taught him to wrestle. He didn't know how to wrestle in February. Now look at him. And uh, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Shame. I and, like you, you can you can imagine you can imagine in two or three years' time if he is headlining WrestleMania that that that's what that will be part of the build. Yeah, he's he's one me. of he's one of our own and all this sort of rubbish. <laughs> yeah, it's just just shocking. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I do like Bron Break Kicker. He's Brent very uh, charismatic, and you know he's very he's good. A Steiner. He's, he's very good. <laughs> And yeah. this is yeah this this is what's this is what's sad about it really because um but anyway go go through the list I'll I'll, I'll carry that bit on later oh, yeah yeah did one more, more days, yeah yeah one more which yeah. was uh, Scarlet Bordeaux which is obviously Karen Cross's wife yeah um, yeah yeah another one you didn't you should have been on the main roster straight away with Karen Cross but nope gone weird uh, and uh, yeah, yeah that's the list. For this month, <laughs> Do we, can come just, back next month for our next <laughs> <laughs> bunch of releases. They just made the list, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, of yeah, wrestler, yeah. Of wrestlers released list. this month. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's a real shame. It, it, I mean, it seems to be they have these. I'm guessing their quarterly um, shareholder calls. Yeah. Um, so when's the next one? March. So you know, expect some releases around March time. I imagine. Yeah, the last one was in October, so yeah, that makes in October, um, August. 
August, September, October, November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So November, December, January. Well, probably February. February, March yeah. time. Yeah, record profits. Uh, sold a load of Christmas crap on the website. And uh, uh, what's that? You're on. Yeah, you're on too much money. You're going. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care if you're over. You're going. You are <laughs> going. Um. So the question I've got for you then, Finn. Has this soured your interest in or your fandom for for WWE? Oh uh, yeah, I think every without every batch of releases, it's like like I, I start to forget, and then you start watching again. So oh, okay, this is still pretty good, and then another batch happens. It's like oh, okay, no, nope, this is still shit. It's still bollocks. And every time it's like oh, at least we still got Keith Lee, we still got this and that, and then they go. And it's like okay, we still got uh, Kevin Owens, but he might be off, he might be gone soon. Um, I even made reference to it on uh, Smack on Raw this week um, or last week. It's like, well, I'm here for three months, three years, blah blah. And then Biggie mentioned Mount Rushmore. It's like, ah, ah, let's see what we did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's strange. Um, I think it's going to be a. We're going. It's not going to be very. Uh, I think we're going to see very many more uh, Seth Rollins in WWE in the main event, or many more Kevin Owens's, you know, indie no. guys that came up. Or AJ Styles, and it's all going to be, all going to be future, you know, WWE guys. Yeah, that's exactly what I I think it's going to be. Uh, like I say, I I, I did see uh, Sonny last week, and we were talking about it, and he read something out that basically said WWE's plan for the future is to have a much smaller roster, um, five or six main event uh, guys and girls. Mm. Uh, 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 mid guys and then occasionally wrote in, rotate in the occasional legend. So yeah. Mark Cena, Goldberg, whether you count Orton in that, uh, as, as, as that kind of legend status, I guess you would. Um, yeah, maybe. And, and that is the plan going forward. And then obviously your NXT 2.0 guys, eventually they'll get called up. And it'd be interesting to see if, if some of the NXT 2.0 talent are given more of a, a a chance on the main roster than some of the more recent NXT call-ups. Yeah, hopefully. Because that's always hopefully. been quite a, a bugbear, isn't it? They get called up and then uh, do nothing with them. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I fear for guys like Tommaso Ciampa, yeah, Tony Gargano. And they, I get a feeling they don't want to get called up because like, no, we're good at NXT, we're getting used, we're over, it's fine, we'll stay here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... There are you mentioned it there with Kevin Owens. He's his contract is up in three months' time. Mm. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly's is up next month, I believe. Oh, really? Wow. As well, uh, so that could be another one that that goes, which would only leave one member of Undisputed Era left. Yeah, <laughs> uh, which would be just unbelievable. And I believe there's another one that contract is running out at the end of the year. I want to say Sami Zayn, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, could be. I'm sure there. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's somebody, but it's it's definitely soured my. Uh, I've got very little interest now in WWE. It's a shame because there are some super talented uh, men and women on those on Raw and SmackDown and NXT 2.0 and NXT UK. Yeah, there's there's some great great wrestlers on there, and you know, you know, Roman Reigns is doing unbelievable stuff and has done for the last. 12 to 18 months or whatever it is, 12 months. Um, you know, guys like Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins and then, you know, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks, you know, they're, they're, they're fantastic and I do want I do want to watch it. Yeah, so it's, it's a real shame that I have very little interest in WWE anymore because there is some great, great talent on there that I do want to watch. I'll keep an eye on it via, via Twitter and social media and, and other forms of social media as well. I've cancelled my network subscription, and yeah. that, I, I guess that's the only way that if you if you really want to hurt WWE is in is in the pocket because that's clearly where it, it is at. The reality is is WWE will always be popular because it is the it's the holy grail, isn't it? And it always yeah, has it, it always has been. Look, let's face it. You know, when it comes around to the Royal Rumble, it's going to be hard for me not to try and want to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then when it comes around to WrestleMania, 
of course, I'm going to want to know what's going on. So, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it, but I'm not going to be giving them my money anymore. No. I cancelled my subscription a while ago. I've been uh, watching it via other means. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a shame. Raw's had some, just a couple of decent matches this week. Um, yeah. Yeah, Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins as I'm on the main event, which is very good. Uh, ended by a count out when Big E uh, inadvertently cast Kevin Owens a match, uh, mm. which led Kevin Owens to turn a heel. Hooray! Oh, it's back of being a heel again. Which is, good. It's, I much prefer <laughs> Kevin Owens. That is good. That is a heel. Good. Very um, cool. I noticed that Seth was wearing some interesting uh, clothing this week. Uh, yes, um, I think that means it's time for what was Seth Rollins wearing, or whatever the segment's called. I don't remember. Here he is. That's what it was. Cue <laughs> the music. That's what it thing. was. Cue, cue, the, cue the music. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you. It's there. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching the video version of this podcast, Seth Rollins came out looking like Paddington Bear. <laughs> he wore a long... Uh, leather, blue leather raincoat um, and yeah, very very interesting, very interesting he looked like Paddington Bear, that's, that's all I can say yeah um, I, very... can't see, I can't see if he has the black wanking glove on uh, because uh, his right arm is, is hidden in this picture that I'm looking at but I don't believe he did actually no, no I don't think he did, I don't think he did but him and Becky were both sporting interesting looks from what I've seen on on social media so yes uh, quite quite the power couple uh, when it comes to the clothing so yeah yes. I think this might be the worst slash best uh, set points he's ever looked yeah I mean the, the 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 shirt is kind of it so he's got a red collar then it's blue and then the side bits are red and it's got some it's got a pattern on that looks like wallpaper that your grandma would have <laughs> exactly yeah um, I'm gonna say that and then the trousers, it's the same again, but it's a more more of a red trouser, same terrible yeah, pattern. Sort of, sort of inverted, yeah. Um, and he's, uh, it looks like he's carrying around one of them red Dell laptops from the mid 2000s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe that. I believe that's the contract he won, so he gets a yeah. championship match. Yeah. Or yeah. something. I can't remember. How, so. so well, yeah. How yeah, is Seth that Rollins. different to... Uh, yeah, so that was what did Seth Rollins wear. Uh, terrible. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, I think it's different in the fact that you can't cash it in whenever. You just have to have like a normal match. Oh, okay. If that makes sense. But yeah, that was a good match actually. I like the match. Yeah, yeah that, um, could be interesting. yeah. that could be interesting. Yeah. That could be interesting. But yeah, otherwise War was pretty, you know, unsurprisingly not that memorable. Uh, it's a good yeah. match between Big E and Chad Gable. Chad Gable is excellent. Mm. Always has been. Um, He's the one who's got the contract running out. I've just remembered. Ah, I'm that sure makes sense. It is. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's him. I actually He's like this. Yeah, I like... I hope he stays, actually. I, I, I like mm. the tag team he's got with Otis. And I hope... You know, he's in no, there against... The, yeah, he's in there with the WWE champion. So hopefully he, you know, stays up a mid-card at least. That means it'll be released Christmas Day or something. Probably. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. I like him. I remember we watched, I think he's a match with him and Bobby Roode, I believe, at a live event. Yeah, that we went to in uh, in Birmingham. Were yeah, you that was it. Yeah, yeah, I was there for that. Yeah. It's really, really good. Oh, it was excellent. For, for a house show, it was, it was super. It was absolutely clinic. It was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, Bob, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, superb match. It's was a cool thing about house shows. You like, you get to see these awesome matches you wouldn't normally see on TV. It's like, yeah, yeah very cool. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, also Randy Orton's uh, or RK Bros' new entrance theme is very cool. Oh, I've not heard <laughs> it. Basically, I've not it's heard it. Mash up, just... It's basically mashup of both the themes together, but it sounds uh, very cool. Okay. Yeah. I'll try and give that a listen later on. <laughs> definitely see how uh, see how good that sounds. Um. Yeah. So, from one. Poorly run wrestling company to a very good <laughs> wrestling company. This weekend we've got Full Gear, pay per view, oh, yeah. AEW's Full Gear, and we are going to be. I think it's going to be myself and Sonny because I think you're. Are you working again, Finn? I'm always working. Come on now. 
I'll, I'll, so, be, I'll show up later to watch the show with you. Yeah, of course. So Sonny and I will be doing a live uh, buy-in before the buy-in or whatever it's called, whatever AEW's <laughs> version of the pre-show is pre-show called. So we'll be doing that pre-show. on Saturday night. Time to be determined, but it's usually around 9 o'clock. So come and join us. Uh, on our YouTube channel, Games and Graps YouTube, uh, will also be on Power to Four YouTube and Facebook and everywhere else uh, that awesome. we are streaming these days. Um, so yeah, cool. that'll be uh, one to look forward to. The card for that looks excellent. Looks oh, really, yeah. really good. There's some, there's some uh, huge, huge matches in there. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to Kenny Omega versus um, Hangman Page. Yeah, that is okay. going to be excellent. It's going to be Buck super. This is uh, Eddie Kingston, the promo, the Eddie Kingston cut on Rampage. Holy yes, shit. Mind blowing. yes. Ah, oh, excellent. So so good. Um, yeah, they're, they're a company that's just going from strength to strength. Um, they're, they're they're snapping up all the all the great talent. They can't sign everyone. They they <laughs> perhaps already have a. a an overly stacked roster. Uh, they can't. They can't sign everyone. Um, but you know, they're, they're they're doing they're doing pretty well. They are doing pretty well. <laughs> yeah. They're doing all right. Uh, oh, yeah. And I noticed yeah. as well they've they've just released some AW buddies. You know the you know the like cushion things. Oh yeah, oh, I've seen you know, that. So, Sonny's <laughs> got Ultimate Warrior and Hogan ones from when he was a kid, and AW oh, have yeah. now got some. You can get a Cody Rhodes one because of course. And uh, a Kenny Omega one, so oh cool. Uh, might buy the Cody Rhodes one and just stamp on its face. <laughs> Can I rip off a stupid tattoo. No, I don't. I don't. I don't hate. I'm not. Uh, I'm not that anti Cody Rhodes. Yeah, um, I'm glad he's getting. I quite. Moved. I quite like the. Uh, I quite like the uh, Tony Khan's comparison to John. Was it John Cena? He said he compared him to, saying that the way that he gets booed is how it's similar to how like. You know, John yeah. Cena would get booed. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see where he's like coming it. from, but <laughs> then at the same time, I'm thinking, mm, I don't know. Yeah, the Cena one is a tad ironic, um, or yeah, it's you know, it's a bit, a little bit of tongue in cheek. Um, with Rhodes, I do think there's genuinely people out there that hate him. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, um. I couldn't say anything. Probably was. Oh yeah, Max Garter's uh, rap on the on rampage oh. against <laughs> Daniel wow. Bryan. Yes, very yeah. funny. Yeah. In more careers than your father-in-law. Oh, uh, being uh, John Lomonitis, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. No, very brilliant. Funny. That was uh, that was good. That <laughs> was really really good. Man. Like I say, it's just a, a show that goes from from strength to strength, and it's just great to watch. So really, cool. really great to watch. Some some excellent people on there. So, yeah, I'd be interested to see who the next lot of ex WWE are that end up there. I expect Bray Wyatt will will, will end up hopefully end up there. Uh, Kevin yeah. Owens, if he does decide to leave, which I'm I'm pretty sure about at this point. Um, yeah, I I, th- I think Keith Lee walks into AEW as well. He yeah, really I can did. see that. Yeah. Um, not sure about Karrion Cross or Scarlet. Maybe they go to Impact. But then, yeah. you know, the, the forbidden door is open. So just because yeah, you go to Impact knows. doesn't mean you're not going to be on AEW TV either. So yeah, Very true. Yeah. So it, it's good. It's good. There is alternatives out there to WWE. And obviously there is your local independent wrestling as well, which is now making its its long way to come back after the COVID. Yes. So, good. Yeah. Yes. Go watch no, it is, local wrestling. It is good. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, so there's there's um, a show coming up uh, uh, 18th of December, uh, the Wrestling Hinkley show, which Sonny uh, will be yes. commentating at. That is the uh, the Christmas Rumble. Awesome. So that'll be good. Um, I'm kind of hoping that Sonny's going to be in the Rumble, but who knows? Yeah, surprise, yeah. surprise entrant. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll um, go there. Maybe I'll be in it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Um, I'm kind of hoping that it's a little bit like it's one of them where he walks in and then immediately three seconds later he's out. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it'd be hilarious. Straight. It it'd would be, be, yeah. be, be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that'd be uh, that'd be fun. But no, that'd be a good show. And look, go check out your local wrestling because there's some uh, there's some super wrestlers out there, very talented yeah. guys. Watch it all on Power Four TV. You can, Plug. of course. Plug. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> cool. I don't think I've got much more else, mate. Yeah, I think that's about it, really. We did well. We, we did, did well. Right. For, for Gavez's yeah. podcast, it's went for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's I say, good. next week, next week, hopefully Sonny will be back. We'll go through games of the month. Yeah. It's a stack month. I'll do a quiz that isn't as hard as the previous <laughs> one. Um, is, yeah. <laughs> make a couple of questions right this time. Yeah. <laughs> I, might, I might just make it, you know, what colour is Sonic? And, you know. <laughs> Green. Wait. Correct, one point. Um, so, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll do that next week as well. Sonny will be back and uh, it'll feel like a more fluid show because, you know, he's just he's a natural, isn't he? There he is. He is. There he is. He's a natural. We're just here to make the numbers up, aren't we? <laughs> Pretty much. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is the end of episode 156 and two thirds. <laughs> My name's Steve. I've been joined by Finn. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out the podcast on all your podcast services. Uh, you can check us out everywhere. Everywhere. See, I'm not. I can't do this. Sonny, he's got it. Um, yeah, check, everywhere. Check, check us out: YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're on TikTok as well. That thing that just takes over your life if you sign just up. Won't go it. away. Just won't go away. It's everywhere. <laughs> It's everywhere. Everywhere. A bit like this everywhere. podcast. Hey. <laughs> Brilliant. So next week, Sonny will be back. Better intro, better ending. But, you know, please forgive us. We are presenters. But for now, goodbye. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. Yes. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Divas. the games and graps podcast i'm steve and i'm joined as always oh ah oh, i've paused it already oh. start again i'll start oh, again i'll take close <laughs> I'll, start again. I'll start again edit that out <laughs> Zip, up, 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 up. right let's go again let's go again <laughs>